What's up, everyone? Happy Friday. It's a, uh, it's kind of a lunchtime hunt. It's actually a uh, half workday hunt. And I'm headed to Toys R Us to hopefully pick up that masterpiece, the movie masterpiece, Bumblebee, which I put on hold a couple days ago. Uh, hopefully it's still there. Anything can happen. They might have put it back on the shelves. Someone else could have claimed it for their own. You never know. So I'm hoping they still have it there. I'm gonna use my 15% off coupon for it. So I'll get it for like 68 bucks. But I have seen some reviews on that figure. Specifically, I'd like to point out T-Man 978's awesome chill review. Check that out. I'm gonna put a link to that specific video in my description because I'm not gonna review that Transformer. I'm not a Transformer reviewer. I am. I pretty much suck at transforming robots. <laughs> so I will leave that to the experts like T-Man. Um, I just do showcases on figures and show hot toys and stuff like that. So I'm going to let him do that, but check it out. It's a good review. It's a good video. And that figure looks freaking awesome. So really hoping they have it. I have heard also that the uh, movie masterpiece Optimus Prime has been found as well. So I'm not sure if my Toys R Us has it. I'm definitely going to look for that. Hopefully they still have the buy one, get one 40% off sale on Transformers. That would be really awesome. So I'll check that out, and then after Toys R Us, I'm actually thinking about going to the TransFan 2's Shop and Look, which is actually right over there right now. And uh, I saw that they got the Thor Ragnarok wave in, the Marvel Legends wave. So I still need three figures to complete my Gladiator Hulk. I need uh, Odinson, Lady Thor, and Ares. I looked at the prices, and two of the figures are not too bad price-wise. I think Odinson was like 23 bucks and Lady Thor was 24 bucks. So like three or four bucks over a retail, which is okay. That's the price you pay to be impatient like me. Uh, I just gotta have it now. I wanna build that sucker so bad. It looks so awesome. The Ares on the other hand was $33. So I'm not gonna pick that one up. I'll try and wait for that one. It looks like a great figure. I'm hoping I can find it. But I'm thinking about going over there after Toys R Us and picking up at least two more figures. I was thinking about seeing a movie, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to catch the movie in time. So, um, I don't know, I'll probably just call the hunt there and go home and play some video games <laughs> since I took the half day. I took a half day just to see a movie. I was gonna see War for the Planet of the Apes, but it starts at 10 till one. It's 12.15 right now, I kinda got a late start because it rained. So I'll probably just head home and uh, wait till Mrs. Cincy arrives. She's heading back from Texas today. I get my car back and I get my wife back. How about that, that's awesome. Uh, but we're not doing anything this weekend. It's the best kind of weekend ever where we have no plans whatsoever That's it and I might actually I've been promising you guys like a showcase on two Mezco figures and two Hot Toys figures I might actually do the two Mezco figures At the end of this video, so if this is just a short hunt I might just uh, see you guys in the nerd bar show you those Mezcos and uh, And there you go. That'll be this video oh. What's up, black sheep? Cool. Know not who I am or when I'm coming, so you're sweet. Cool. Wasn't in my home or wasn't in your sphere. Cool. Knew not who I was, but let's spend here. Dress the OES, yes, I guess I can start. If it's all right with you, I'll rip this head on the board. Back, middle, to the front, no front. Cool. Want a good time, only cool. give you what you want. Cool. Can I hear a hey? Hey, look at it, yo. You got a hat. Cool. Just for the house. Cool. All right, so uh, I am all done at Toys R Us and. Uh, I didn't take much footage in there because it's pretty much the same stuff that you saw in my last video. So if you want to see what they got at Toys R Us, just check out my last video. But uh, I did pick up, bam, mission accomplished right there. The uh, masterpiece, movie masterpiece, Bumblebee. Very, very happy that they had that. They did not have the movie masterpiece, Optimus Prime though. So I will continue to look for that one. That one looks pretty good. Uh, they did have the MP10 in stock, but I already have that one. Uh, I think that's about it. They had a leader class, The Last Night, Optimus Prime, no Megatron, but uh, yeah, there you go. So I'm actually headed to TransFan 2's Shop and Look right now, and uh, hopefully they have those Thor figures. Hopefully they didn't sell them already. We'll see what they got. <laughs>
waves reaching the microphone are changed into impulses of electric current. No need to worry about your pre-recorded music tapes being accidentally erased. It can't happen. <laughs> I am all done at uh, Transfan 2 Shop and Look, and uh, I freaking love that store. Every time I go in there, I find uh, just a ton of stuff that I would want to buy. One of these days, I'm going to save up some money. I'm going to save up like 200 bucks and just come here and freaking have a field day because there's so much stuff in there that I would want to buy. Um, that trip to Con looks ridiculously awesome. But I did pick up Lady Thor, Jane Odinson, Jane Odinson, Jane Foster Thor. Got that leg for uh, Gladiator Hulk and got the um, that armor piece as well. She comes with both. And then I got the Odinson and he comes with the torso. Sweet. This is a different Thor, by the way, than the one that's with that SDCC pack. The SDCC pack is the current Thor where he is without, he's not worthy. It's the unworthy Thor where he's carrying, what's the name of the freaking axe? Yarnbjorn or something? Um, I don't know. But this is the young Odinson. So basically, if you followed the Thor comic books, Jason Aaron wrote it. Awesome, awesome freaking series. It was going back and forth between the past and showing young Thor, the current and the future. It was like past, present, and future all in one comic book. And they did it for, I don't know how many, how long the arc was. I think it was like 20 issues or something. I would highly, highly recommend it if you are thinking about getting into comics or if you like Thor and you're wondering where to start, pick up that Jason Aaron series because it was a freaking awesome storyline. That's it for this uh, hunt. Um, I'm tapped out. I spent, <laughs> I spent uh, a lot of money. So I'm gonna go back to the nerd bar, play some video games, enjoy the rest of my afternoon off. And then I'm gonna film the second half of this video, which will be two Mezco figures. I'm going to showcase a couple Mezco figures. See you guys in the nerd bar. Adios. Hey, what's going on everyone? I feel like I haven't uh, filmed from this side of the bar or from this angle in a long time. Anyway, uh, I had promised a showcase on these two Mezco figures for quite some time now and I'm finally going to do that. This is the uh, yellow suit daredevil Mezco figure right there. And then the... Uh, SDCC Deadpool Mezco figure, the X-Men variant right there. But first things first, I actually got a few packages in my P.O. box and I just want to open those up real quick. One of them's super heavy so I'm not sure what's in it. But uh, this first one was from Michael Taylor. I could not wait to open this up because I knew what was inside but he threw in a couple extras which I was not aware of. Uh, but this first thing, I had been looking for this figure for quite some time now. He had it, so we're going to work out a trade. But I'm so freaking pumped to share this with you guys. He sent me the NECA Joker. The Heath Ledger Joker. Sorry about the glare there. I have a, uh, a light right there, as you can see. A bright light! Sweet Lord! It's like a square sun right there. But anyway, uh, there is the Joker. Looking awesome. Can't wait to unbox this. I will unbox this and show this to you guys uh, probably in a future video. But uh, very, very, very happy to finally get this in my collection. I passed on it one time in a Toys R Us and I really regret uh, passing on it, but finally got this one in. So thank you, Michael, for sending this to me. Absolutely appreciate it. There's the back of the package right there. But it looks pretty freaking awesome. So very happy to pick that up. The Joker NECA figure. He also sent me this one, which I still have not seen in any Walgreens that I've ever been in. But it is the Walgreens exclusive Juggernaut Pop. So there you go. Pretty freaking awesome. He's got some weight to him. But uh, very happy to get that one. Put that one in the uh, X-Men collection. And then here's the extra stuff that he threw in. 
Uh, he threw in some loyal subjects He-Man uh, figures. So I already have the He-Man and the Skeletor, but uh, I had been wanting to pick up uh, more of these guys, but he sent me the Trap Jaw, which looks phenomenal. He sent the Triclops. This is bringing back super memories of my childhood right here. I had a lot of these Masters of the Universe figures. There's Triclops, and then here is Beast Man. So there is the Beast Man. So thank you again, Michael, for these extras. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you for sending all this stuff. I need to get you back and uh, send you some stuff as well. So the next one is from Brandon Warren. He sent me a couple of figures, which I'm going to open up right now. So let me go ahead and unpackage these and I'll show you which ones they are. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. Brandon sent me a couple of these Onslaught figures, which I needed the Build-A-Figure parts for. Uh, I have uh, the torso and head and shoulder pads of Onslaught, and he sent me the Sharon Carter, which has the leg, and the Whirlwind, which has the arm. So I still need the other arm and the other leg, and then that back piece as well to complete my Onslaught. But thank you very much, Brandon. I absolutely appreciate this. Uh, but uh, I will definitely be putting these on my Onslaught partially built build a figure thank you again brandon you are the man all right and the final package as you can see is a gigantic box here and i'm not sure what's in it i did open it up i haven't taken anything out yet but there is a note in here it's from rashad brown so let me go ahead and read this letter that he sent what's up cincy nerd this is rashad 254 figs collector i am a subscriber to you and a syndicate member on facebook i watch your videos and hunts and all the others as well i just wanted to send you some fan mail that i think you would like I got the idea from one of your last videos. Please forgive my handwriting. It's not that messy at all. Uh, please do an unboxing video for this and hope I get a BAM. Keep up the great videos and take care. So thank you very much Rashad. Thank you for sending this once again. Uh, Rashad254 Figs Collector. Let me go ahead and open this up, see what's inside. I'm excited because this is a very heavy box. Uh, so first things first is this right here. So let me open this up. Oh sweet! All right, so as you know, or may not know, if you're just joining me, I'm a huge, huge wrestling fan, huge WWE fan. I've been watching it for a long, long time. And uh, Rashad sent me this DVD, which I do not have. This is Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen. He must have sent this to me because I just got that WWE four-pack Elite Four Horsemen. And uh, this is freaking awesome. So it's two discs, and I look forward to watching this right away. So thank you very much for this DVD. This is fantastic. All right, so this right here appears to be some type of figure. It's a form of a figure. Nice! <laughs> so I've been looking at this one at Walgreens, and I have not gotten this one, but this is the HBK, the Shawn Michaels DX figure, the Walgreens exclusive. And uh, the Triple H just came out, and I've been looking at that Triple H, and then this one suddenly disappeared from the pegs because I was going to get the Triple H, but I'm like, if I'm going to get Triple H in DX, I, I want Shawn Michaels in DX. Thank you very much, Rashad. The uh, Shawn Michaels DX version. This is the Walgreens exclusive. And this is freaking awesome. So thank you very much. And bam! Thank you. This is awesome. All right, so there is something very large in here. And if it's what I think it is, oh my lord. This was also in here, and I know what this is. This is awesome. This is a mini replica title belt. WWE title belt. So let me open this up. This is freaking cool. I don't have any of these, but I, um, whenever I go to wweshop.com, I always look at these things because I think they look so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. This is so cool. This is like real leather, real snaps. This is the WWE heavyweight belt, formerly the WCW heavyweight belt, but that is really awesome. Very, very cool. Rashad, thank you very much for sending me this stuff. This is awesome. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy freaking ass. Holy ass. This is insane. I hope I didn't wake up everyone upstairs. It's like 11, it's like midnight right now, 1215. I cannot believe you sent me this, Rashad. I, I honestly, I cannot believe you sent me this. Holy crap! This is 
I gotta adjust the camera here. This is the full size WWE World Heavyweight title. Bam! <laughs> this is freaking awesome! This is metal. This is made of metal. This has got weight to it. It feels like it's about, I don't know, like eight pounds or something. But this is the actual title belt. This is crazy. Rashad, thank you so, so much. This is honestly like one of the best gifts I've ever gotten, ever, from anyone. I kind of want to wear this for the rest of the video. <laughs> this is heavy as balls. I am wearing this belt for the rest of this video. Uh, so I got my uh, Mezco Daredevil out. So uh, let's get started on this Mezco showcase. All right, the champ is here. This is the yellow suit Mezco Daredevil. Here is the box. It is a PX Previews exclusive. I'm gonna show you what the back of the box looks like. There you go. For those that think that this is a goofy looking suit, I disagree, because this is the first outfit that Daredevil wore in the comic books. So, I don't know, it's yellow and it it's, it's kinda looks like a freaking overalls, but I think it's pretty awesome. I just love it. It's so different, and I just love it. So, here's what he looks like. As usual, Mezco comes with like uh, the soft goods, but uh, pretty cool details there. I've got these hands in here which hold the uh, billy clubs. He does come with a variety of different hands, and he comes with two additional head sculpts and an alternate billy club with a wire attachment so you can make it look like he's throwing it. But let me show you the additional accessories. So here are the additional hands that he comes with. He comes with the fisted hands, the, I don't know, it looks like he's at a rock concert right there. We're doing the two sweet. He's got open palm hands. He's got, uh, he's got these, uh, like, and they look like, like grabbing hands, like he's grabbing a punch or something. And then he's got these hands where he's throwing the batons. He comes with the alternate baton with the wire there, so you can make it look like he's throwing it. And then here are the two additional head sculpts. So he's got the unmasked one, and he's got the battle damaged one. Really, really awesome. Here's the stand, all yellow with big D. And then one last look at the figure. You could put the billy clubs in that little sheath there. Let me do a 360. Just a really cool looking Daredevil. I really like this one. I am still looking for the, uh, the Shadowland one, the all black outfit, which he's wearing in comic books right now. But uh, that one is kind of pricey, but I am looking out for that one. But uh, really happy with this one here. So this is the PX Previews Yellow Suit First Appearance Daredevil figure. All right, the other Mezco figure that I'd like to show you is the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con Mezco exclusive X-Men Deadpool figure. So, this is awesome. This is very, very cool. This is probably his least uh, known or least popular suit that Deadpool ever wore in the comic books, but I happen to like it. I think it was really cool when he wore that in the comic books. Didn't wear it for very long. But uh, this actually gives me a lot of hope for the red suit Deadpool that we're going to get and the X-Force Deadpool that we're going to get. Because it's going to be the same sculpt. I love the sculpt. Love the, um, the face sculpt. And uh, the accessories are great. So this one makes me very excited for those other two releases. But just to give you some close-ups on this figure... Some cool sculpting on the uh, shin guards there. You can see like there's like damage and um, little nicks and stuff in the shin guards as well as on the top of the shoes and boots there, the guards. The X symbol. He comes with a couple guns. I really like this gun. Looks like an AR-15. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
It's got a grenade launcher on there as well. Really nice detail. I like the paintwork on the gun. He also comes with this handgun. Again, nice paintwork on the gun. And here is the face sculpt. There is an alternate face sculpt. It's kind of difficult to tell the difference between the two face sculpts. They look very similar. But um, if you look at it closely, the other face sculpt has a, a somewhat winking eye. And I'll show you that one in just a second. The other thing he comes with is the sword. I have it in the sheath back here. I took the sword out of the sheath and uh, this is what the sword looks like. But here is the back view. Again, more like scuff marks and battle damage on the uh, the forearm guard there. Cool looking hands. And speaking of the hands, let me show you the additional hands that he does come with. So he comes with the fisted hands. Looks like um, katana holding hands, possibly. Comes with the hang loose left hand and then a uh, I believe you can use this hand to hold the machine gun or hold the uh, grenade launcher part. Comes with these grenades for the the gun and then comes with these hand grenades as well. Comes with the dynamic arm and then he comes with the little baggie to hold all the accessories. There is the X base but I gotta say I really really like this figure. I think this is going to look great in my collection. Probably uh, put this one next to my Punisher. But I really like this one. And I'm really looking forward to the other Deadpool figures that are coming out. But this is the SDCC Mezco Deadpool figure. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you liked the showcase on these two Mezco figures. Sorry it took so long for me to bring that to you, uh, but I'm very, very happy I was finally able to uh, show you those two Mezcos. Uh, Mezco is still my favorite toy line of the year right now. They are knocking it out of the park. Uh, I like them more than Hot Toys. Don't tell Hot Toys that. Great job, Mezco. You're probably not watching this video, but if you are, you guys are knocking it out of the frickin' park. Keep doing what you're doing. But uh, that's it for this video. I would just like to uh, say thank you once again to Michael Taylor, Brandon Warren, and Rashad Brown. Guys, thank you so much for sending me that stuff. You guys don't have to send me anything, but honestly, I want you to know that when you do send me stuff, I absolutely, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. I can't even believe that I now own a belt, a WWE World Heavyweight belt. I'm thinking about putting this in like a frame and putting it on my wall. Uh, this is incredible. But uh, thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I absolutely appreciate it. I want to let you guys know something. I announced this on uh, the Syndicate Facebook page, but I am quickly approaching 10,000 subscriptions. Uh, right now, I should be hovering around 6,000. I feel like I was just announcing that I hit 5,000 not too long ago. So the channel continues to grow. I'm very thankful that you guys like these videos. When I hit 10,000 subscriptions, and I'm expecting to do that this year, probably by the end of the year, maybe sooner, when I hit 10,000 subscriptions, I'm going to do a giveaway for a Hot Toys figure. I will give you a Hot Toys figure if you win the contest. Uh, I will pay for shipping, but it's the least I could do for your guys uh, continuing to watch and subscribe to my videos. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing a second or third place prize too. But I'm going to figure that out and let you know as we get closer to 10,000. But for right now, I just want to say, have fun collecting. Thanks again, guys. Adios. And I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.